telemedicine is a way of doing a remote consult with a patient where you actually have an audio and a video connection so you can meet with them when they're not able to physically travel to where you are. So one of the main benefits is being able to reach patients with specialty care who may not otherwise be able to receive it. At UPMC, we first used telemedicine and stroke services because of the urgent nature of uh, the need to treat stroke quickly. It was then expanded to about 15 different clinical services and we added diabetes care in early 2013. The patients will be referred typically by their primary care doctor to see an, an endocrinologist via telemedicine. In our department, we actually work with a certified diabetes educator who's on site with the patient. So they will come in, meet with her, and then we actually establish a video connection between myself and the patient. So I'll interview them just like I would in a face-to-face -face visit with a full audio connection and video, um, review their medical history, their diabetes history, and then I also collect blood sugar information from them, which we can submit electronically so that I can actually review it just as I would in an in-person visit. We've been able to bring a specialty service to patients who otherwise um, only had the services of their local doctor. And so typically, they're patients who are being referred because of challenging cases of diabetes or complications where they really need to lower their hemoglobin A1C safely. The learning curve in interacting with someone over a video connection is sometimes a little awkward for physicians who are used to meeting in face-to-face -face contact, doing an exam. Um, but remarkably, the patients have taken to it very well. Um, otherwise, it's very much like having a face-to-face -face visit. I think the main thing is uh, really getting patients that access to someone who's focused in specifically on the diabetes and able to really take a specialist look at it. Um, and so we've been able to have effective lowering of hemoglobin A1Cs without excessive hypoglycemia uh, by giving our consultative services. I think that diabetes is actually very well suited to telemedicine uh, because of the fact that we can gather most of what we need from a history and from data that can be transmitted to us electronically. And so you're able to really provide very effective diabetes care through this medium. So I'd really like to see telemedicine expand um, so that more patients are able to take advantage of this from a wider variety of areas. I think that there's going to be additional research coming out both in our field and in other fields looking at benefits of telemedicine. Um, and hopefully certain things like payment challenges will be overcome in the future to make this a very effective thing for patients.